Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is uh, introduce a sliding carousel into our home page. Now, this is a little bit complicated. Um, Serif does make it quite fiddly. So make sure that you really, really follow the steps in this video. Otherwise, it can turn a bit messy quite quickly. So let's begin by making sure that we're on our home page because that's the page where we want the carousel. So from down here, I can see I've got home page as one of my options or home. So I press on that and that shows me that I'm now editing my home page. OK, so to insert a sliding carousel, we go to the insert menu and it's an interactive object. So we go there and we insert a slider. And we get some options. There's lots of different things we could insert. But if we scroll down here on the left, and if we go to uh, sliders, then it minimizes that sort of selection for us. And we'll see that there are some square shaped ones, which could be good for if we wanted a quote or customer feedback in the corner. There are portrait ones, which sort of go up and down. But I want a left to right one, so I want one of these landscape ones. And there are plenty to choose from. Um, it's quite hard without putting them actually into your site to see which one might be better than any other um, but I'm just going to go with this really simple one to start with so choose that press OK and I can click and drag where I'd like it so I want it to be sort of this sort of size and you'll see it's actually made it a bit smaller which is a bit irritating so we can resize it as we need to now it looks like it's going a bit wrong here because it's given us a lot of white background, but that's okay. That's only because the images that are in by default aren't large enough for the area we need to fill. But we're going to replace those images so we can sort that out. Now, I've already downloaded some images. I went onto Google and I found several um, sort of high quality images through Google Images. So I've downloaded those and I've got those ready to insert. So what we're going to do is uh, we need to make some changes to this slider. And the, the way it works is it's all based on this idea of a panel. Uh, so these, this slider is made of several panels. And uh, panels can contain pictures, text, or other objects. And the way the slider works is it has a number of panels. And it's the panels that go left and right. So we have to put the images that we want onto each of the panels it contains. That will make a bit more sense as you continue watching. So select um, your, uh, your slider and have a look over here where it says objects. So we're going to move away from the sort of view of all the uh, pages in the site. We're going to look at the objects in the site and you'll see it shows that we've got a slider that contains six objects. So if we expand that we'll see the slider contains a slider panel, another slider panel, another slider panel, in fact, five slider panels, and um, a foreground which has just some buttons on it, which you can't really see very easily. Um, in fact, I'll move that one over there so it's in line with our edge. But those buttons um, become useful because you can click on that. that. That's what enables us to be able to click sort of either side and move forwards and backwards. So let's look at the first of our panels. So if I select the first slider panel, you'll see it brings up a particular image. And as I click on each one, the image changes. And we want to change those images now. So let's go to the first one. And we can expand it further. And you'll see it says placeholder 4, and that's an image. Now, that is where the current image is within the, the slider. We can move it around, we could resize it, but what we want to do is replace it. So with it selected, go to this little icon here. It says replace picture from file. That's the third in from the right. So one, two, three. We're going to replace that picture. So I can click on that and I'm going to choose one of the images I've already downloaded. So we'll choose this as our first one. And I'll open it. Now by default, it keeps it in that same kind of shape uh, that the previous image was in, but it's not really large enough for us. So I can 
actually I don't want to crop it do I I want to resize it so what I can do is I could just expand it but it then gets stretched and looks a bit horrible so I'm going to undo that and I'm just going to expand it using these court, these these corner handles and that keeps everything in the right proportion but notice it's massively outside of the limits of the panel now uh, so what we need to do is having got it into the right proportions we can click this crop button and we can drag up from the bottom so that it fits just inside our panel. So while we've just been doing that, something strange has gone on in the background. Um, if you have a look over here on the right, we, it says here fiber one strawberry. That's our picture. And our picture is no longer part of a slider panel. Notice the other ones still are. They, they belong to a panel, but now our picture has actually sort of jumped outside of its panel and is just a normal picture on the home page. In fact, it's sort of in the way of our panel. It's not part of our panel. But if we just select it and move it into place, it seems to miraculously then become part of whichever panel you last had selected uh, within the slider. This is really complicated and I don't understand why Serif does it, but it does. So we just need to kind of deal with it. So if I pull it out of the slider, it becomes just a part of the normal page and you can see the slider behind it. But if I then drag it over the slider, then it sort of gets captured by the slider. So what we need to do is make sure that we have the panel selected where we want the image and then we can drag and drop the image and it becomes part of that panel. So let's go and do the next one. So I'm going to select the next panel and I want to replace this image with the next one in my list. Um, so in fact, what have we got here? I've got a nice picture of some smoothie bar. Um, so I'm going to again resize this one. Um, in fact, this one, I may do something slightly different because a panel can have uh, an image. It can also have text. So for this one, I'm going to make it a bit smaller uh, so that it fits inside my panel. When I just resized it and move it there, it's now been it sort of jumped straight into the panel because it fits in it. And I'm going to add, with that panel selected, some text. So to add some text, we go to our text layout tool. Don't choose this one. This sort of does strange text that's difficult to kind of um, move around. Uh, if we use a layout frame, it's much, much easier. So we click on the text layout frame and we drag where we want our text. And I'm just going to write, we have smoothie bars in London, Paris, and New York. Um, let's make that a nice bit bigger and maybe a fun font. That's too big. Let's go down a little bit. OK, and maybe a nice explanation mark on the, on the end. Now, because I had my panel selected, this text frame is part of that panel. So this will move as the rest of my panel does as well. Okay, let's do the next image. So again, we go into the next one, click on the image we want to replace, find uh, another image to go in there. We're going to resize it again so that it just fits nicely within our panel. Um, crop it down to size, so a bit bigger. And you'll notice it's jumped out of its slider again, but as soon as we click it and move it around, it becomes part of our panel once more. Bizarre. Right, uh, the next one, image replace. That's a nice one. Um, resize. Relocate. Um, crop. Might just shift that up in there a bit as well. Looks a bit nicer. Okay, and then I can click off. And again, notice it's here at the top. It's not part of my panel. But if I drag it and move it around and drop it again, lo and behold, it becomes part of my panel. And there's one more to do. Hopefully, by doing so many, you've got used to it by now. Uh, let's try this one. So again, I put it in. I resize it. I put it into position. I crop it. And I 
wiggle it around a bit until I put it and put it back where I want it and ah, this one has not formed part of a panel. Let me select the panel before I drag it around then and see if it falls into it. No, it must be not quite the right size. Let's make it just a tiny bit smaller. Will it fit now? Yes, it has. You see, it's fiddly, and sometimes we need to have a little play around with this. So if I go through my slider now, you'll see that each image is in a different panel, and we can preview this and see what it looks like by using this button here, which is the preview site button. If I press that, it shows us what the website would look like if it's a real website. So we can see, I can click on these buttons, and it moves between my images, there we have the smoothie bars in New York and Paris. So you can put pictures in and you can put text in. Um, and do you remember I moved that little button? That's because we wanted it over right on the right hand side. We resized and those are our forwards and backwards buttons that we can use. So there you go. That's how to put in a sliding carousel in your homepage. It's not anywhere near as straightforward as it should be. It does require determination, motivation, a bit of curiosity some creativity in your approach, a little bit of open-mindedness to slightly awkward ways, uh, but hopefully when you've done it, you'll be able to reflect upon it and think, yep, I've done a good job there. I've conquered a really difficult skill and made my site better for it. So good luck, have a go, and uh, let's see what you can do.